South Georgia farmers are praying yes. for rain. The sun is really beating down on a field of crops, and that's a lot of money they've got out there in those fields in that heat. WLB News 10's Lena Allen reports on how the scorching temperatures are impacting farms across mm -hmm. South Georgia. The average farmer in South Georgia can irrigate 70 to 80 percent of the acres that they grow, meaning outside of rainfall, 30 percent of those acres don't get a drop of water at all. Right now for farmers, every single drop of water counts. We're really facing a situation where we're going to be out before the season really starts. With an ongoing drought, row crop farmers are getting burnt the most. The crop is over. Preston Jimerson, owner of Moss Family Farms, tells me he's usually able to produce 1,300 pounds of cotton and 6,000 pounds of peanuts. This year, we're already starting to, to figure we've probably got a 10% loss already because the crops are stalling. But these fields aren't as bad as other fields further north. I'm scared. Um, it's frustrating. Georgia State Senator and farmer Sam Watson says there's still not enough being done in state or local government to help farmers. With the new farm bill still in limbo, he says there's no safety net to escape Mother Nature's wrath. We've always had weather problems, but now it's government policies that are against us. It's uh, trade. Um, you know, we've taught the world to do what we do, and now we're buying it from the world. Now, South Georgia farmers are turning to their faith. I just ask everybody to keep praying for rain. As they wait for any chance of showers. Lena Allen, WALB, your hometown news source.